Hey guys, it's Iman and Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. Today we are talking about real estate investment trusts or REITs. And if you have not heard about REITs, you are missing out on a great opportunity to invest in real estate and in the stock market. If you recall, when we opened up our Vanguard portfolio, we shared with you all of our holdings. And one of the holdings we had was an index fund REIT. That REIT, VGSLX, is up almost 20% alone this year. The REITs we hold in our HSA are also up about 20%. And in the past 10 years, we've been averaging 15% returns on our REITs. Our REITs are on fire. So in this video, we're going to talk to you about REITs and how you can invest in REITs to add to your investment portfolio. So before we go any further, let's talk about what REITs are exactly, because I think most people are not investing in them because they really don't understand how they work. You see, a REIT is basically a company, a company just like Ford, just like General Motors, but REITs invest in real estate. Just like Ford builds cars for profits, REITs invest in real estate for profits. And those profits are what investors benefit from. So when you invest in a REIT, you are investing in a company stock. A REIT buys, sells, finances, and operates real estate for profit. So anyone can buy a share in a REIT, and REITs allow anyone to invest in portfolios of real estate assets the same way they invest in other industries, through the purchase of individual company stock or through a mutual fund or an exchange traded fund. The stockholders of a REIT earn a share of the income produced through the real estate investment without having to go out to buy, manage, or finance property. And that is what is so amazing about REITs, the without part. You don't have to go out and buy, manage, finance any property. By investing in the REIT, the REIT is doing all of that for you. So you are getting the benefit of owning real estate when you own a REIT. And something else that makes REITs so special is that they specialize in specific real estate sector. By doing this, it makes them more effective. And if you look at our Robinhood account, we own a REIT that specializes in healthcare facilities. It's called Medical Properties Trust. But you can also own mutual fund REITs and ETF REITs like we do in our Vanguard account and in our HSA account. In our Vanguard account, we own VGSLX, an index fund that holds 190 other REIT companies. So let's talk about how REITs work and how investors benefit from investing in REITs. So REITs work in a super simple way. Most REITs have a straightforward business model. The REIT leases space and collects rent on the property, then distributes that income as dividends to its shareholders. And it is the dividends that make REITs so special. You see, REITs are required by law to distribute 90% of the profits they make from their income, and they return those profits in the form of dividends. So if you look at MPW in our Robinhood portfolio, it pays 5 to 6% in dividends because it must pay out those dividends by law. And VGSLX, a REIT index fund in our Vanguard account, pays over 4% in dividends. So that's the background on REITs. And what we really want to talk about in this video are five specific reasons why we think that REITs are good investments. And the first reason is that REITs do better than rental real estate. Yes, I said it, REITs do better than rental real estate. You know, we love investing in rental real estate, but when we compare the real estate that we rent long-term to the REITs that we've owned long-term, REITs have done better. So long-term rental property, when it's doing well, can average about eight to 9% in returns each year. But if you look at REITs, they are averaging about 15% in returns. And this is a easy 15%, as opposed to the eight to 9% that you have to work hard for on rental property. Because with rental property, you have people to manage, you have tenants to deal with, you have leaky roofs, clogged up toilets, all of these things that you have to work for to get that eight to 9%. But with REITs, when you invest in the REIT, you get those dividends and you get the appreciation that has been about 15% per year. And number two, which is a big one, is that REIT index funds are doing better than the S&P and better than the total stock market funds. That is right. And this may come as a surprise to many of you guys because we love to invest in VTSAX and VTI, which track the total stock market. But in reality, our REITs have been doing much better than the total stock market. 
So for example, year to date, Vanguard ETF REIT VNQ has returned 22.52%. Now compare that to VTI, our favorite total stock market ETF, that has only returned 19.99%. And between 1978 and 2016, REITs averaged close to 12.87%, while the S&P 500 generated about 11.64%. Now those numbers are close. There's not a huge difference, but those percentage points add up over time. But something else about REITs, as opposed to the total stock market, is that REITs pay a higher dividend. I mean, when you look at the dividend that is paid by VTI versus VNQ, there is a huge difference. VNQ pays almost 4% in dividends versus VTI that's only paying between 1.5 to 2% in dividends. And the next pro is that REITs allow you to be a real estate tycoon. And this is what I love about REITs is that you can invest in any type of real estate. You can earn commercial office buildings, you can earn strip malls, you can earn healthcare facilities, things that as an everyday investor, you cannot buy on your own. I mean, we invest in single family homes, condos, and town home, townhouses. Maybe we'll buy some land one day, but when you own a REIT, you can invest in anything. You are like the mogul of real estate. And the next pro is that with a REIT, you get instant diversification in real estate. REITs invest in real estate all throughout the world in all different types of real estate. And by owning a REIT, you get to own that part of real estate diversification. As opposed to buying real estate on your own, when you're buying one house in one neighborhood and all your eggs are in that basket. But with a REIT, your basket is very wide. That diversification protects you from the ups and downs of the local market that you may be investing in. And that really makes REITs special. And the last reason why we love investing in REITs is because it makes real estate investing simple, easy, and cheap. And this is a huge point because we get this question all the time from people about how do I get started investing in real estate? Well, REITs are a great way to get started. First of all, like Christina said, it's simple, easy, and cheap. So you can buy a REIT for $10 and you're investing in real estate. But while you're investing in REITs, you also gain the knowledge that is required to start investing in real estate, to start to buy your own individual properties. And that is a really important part about learning to invest is getting that financial literacy and then using it in real life. So that's the background on REITs and the five great points that we think make REITs great investments. And we really wanted to make this video for you so that you can understand REITs and consider investing in them as well, because we think REITs have been a great addition to our portfolio. But definitely do your own research when you're looking into REITs, because there are over 200 REITs that you can potentially invest in. But rather than researching 200 different REITs, why not buy an index fund that has them all? Just like you invest in the total stock market, you can invest in the total REIT market and buy an ETF or an index fund that does it all. So there are two REITs that we really like through Vanguard that basically does it all. So Vanguard's VGSLX invests in over 190 REITs and pays a dividend of 4%. And there's also an ETF equivalent that's called VNQ. Now, whatever REIT you decide to invest in, if you do decide to invest in a REIT, the goal is to take action. Our channel is all about taking action in order to save money, make money, and invest money. So do your research and look into REITs. And if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and join, join the, the journey. journey.